Hello friends, this is Irvind doing the reinforcements one more step for the safety belts. This is on the opposite side and um, it is on this side, comes the inside and from looking how it looks here, four different ones. And so the rope goes around this one and then comes the webbing. And uh, on a boat, in a car, it's a good thing to have a safety belt. 1974, trying to round Cape Horn, my boat was capsized. The weather was not very strong, and but an odd wave came and hit the boat from the side, and over it went, and it caused a lot of problems. Water came in, and at that time I didn't have a good ventilation system, and some things got thrown around. Then I fixed it and got out the water, but then a week later. A terrible storm came. It came up very suddenly and very strong. And after four, four hours, the boat pitch bolt. So now you don't really know when it comes. I've been rolled in a car when it was ice in the downhill in the Sweden. It was now like in the evening. The day had been sunny, but then, like when the darkness came on the north side of a hill. It was just icy and it was no way to control in the car and it was and the summer tires and it was a long time ago and boat rolled over. But on a boat it's much more easy. It's no really big force. So this is why I don't put the uh, safety belt all the way down because you don't really need much of it. So they are a bit high up, and uh, but on the other hand, it's quite comfortable to having them there. It's like a inner roof. And with the help of this inner roof, you know, when the weather getting bad and the sea starting breaking, well, I put on the safety belt, it's not really in the way. But if you have it like in a car, and it's a one day, two days, maybe three days, bad weather with a safety belt, it's not so nice. So that's the explanation. I have it a bit higher up. But if I would make the boats, prepare it for going down the Niagara Falls, I would put them lower down. But it's not the case. So, well, thank you for today.